What's up guys, thanks for clicking your person on the video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for keyboard and mouse players. Okay guys, now to start off, we're going to go to our keybinds. So as you see, mouse and keyboard keybinds. And we're just going to start off with movement. So what I have is WASNT. I, I think like most people have that. Um, jump with spacebar, auto run with B. I can just press it with my thumb. And something that's very important is crouch, which is left control. Now uh, this is important because you don't have to take any of your movement fingers off of the movement keys to crouch and have you ever seen FaZe Mongrel win all his boom fights is because he has crouch as left control and he could uh, spam left control and his movement keys at the same time which makes him like hard, harder to hit. So yeah combat fire, left mouse button, target, right mouse button, reload I use R. Some people they could use their mouse button down so like that or scroll up like that but I personally prefer R. Um, use, I use F, you could use F to edit or E to edit. Hard racing tool, I have it on X because I press it with my thumb so I don't have to take my fingers off my movement keys and my weapons, I have 2, 3, 4, 5, Z. I can't press 6 that easily because my hands are small so I just press Z with my um, ring finger. And uh, once again, crouch while building, left control. Now for wall, I have the front mouse button, so the one on top, number 5. And then for floor, what you could do is you could have it as C or you could have it as V, whatever's comfortable to you. I have mine as V, but make sure that you press it with your thumb and not your pointer finger. Now for stairs, it's going to be your other mouse button, or if that's not comfortable to you, then you could do something like Q. But for the sake of optimal binds, we're going to go with the mouse with the side mouse button. For roof, I have it as left shift. Another thing you could do is like switch left con left control and shift, but make sure you press with your pinky. And for some people, it might be even comfortable to press Z with your um, with your pinky. That's what I'm trying to say. Trap, I have mine as T, but if I wanted to, I could make it as Q. Place building, normal, repair, upgrade. Um, to be honest, I don't really think a lot of people do that. So I just have it as Y. It's kind of easy to hit. Rotate building, R. Some people have it as G. That's really nice to, to have it as G. So that way, maybe if one of your build binds is closer to R, you, don't, you won't like keep re re rotating your um your build change building material the uh, right mouse button building any i have it as e once again you could have it as f or e but one thing i gotta say is that let's say you have your shotgun bind off number three if you look at your keyboard what is closer to the letter three so my fingers pointed the letter three right here and this is f all the way down here but e is right there right right under number three so that's how that's why i prefer um using e as edit instead of f so yeah that's that and then most of the rest of these really just matter um let's just get onto the settings okay guys now i'm in the settings now as you can see i'm full screen if some people do windowed full screen but the only problem with that is that it makes it a little bit input delay like it, it gives you a little bit input delay and it just gives you like a little bit less fps so i recommend definitely going full screen 1920x 1080 if you're if you, if you struggle getting fps what you could do is go down to like 16 by 900 or 1280 by 720 the thing is that it makes the quality look a little bit worse so i like the 1080 and well for the frame limit let's say you have a pc that could get 200 frames but you don't have a 240 hertz monitor then there's no point in putting at 240 fps make sure you put it one above your monitor so if you have a 165 hertz monitor do it at 180 or 200 if you have a 200 hertz monitor somehow just make it 240 i have a 240 hertz monitor because i um i well i i have i put it at 240 fps because i have a 240 hertz monitor the reason why i don't put it up to 360 is because that's a bigger gap so it gives me a little bit more like jitter and stuff so i just keep it at 240 because i have a 240 hertz monitor brightness at 100 i used to have it at 110 last season because the brightness was lower last season but i think it's okay at 100 some people even go down to like 90 or 70 but i like 100 uh, color blind mode i don't use anything the reason why i don't is because this season uh you you can't use color blind mode to look into the storm it just simply doesn't work now for your quality presets i have it on low everything on low <clears throat> it gives you more rps i've seen some people put their textures to high but i'm not sure if that works for me it doesn't work I mean, it's probably just my graphics card and then all of this stuff you think motion alert off show fps on definitely direct x11 this depends on your pc what i recommend doing is just experimenting see what gives you more rps maybe go into like a battle lab game and yeah just try both of these and then latency markers definitely put that on nvidia reflux latency definitely put on plus boost latency flash i have it off so i'm gonna apply that and now for this is my game settings 
make sure you have sprint by default on i've seen some people use shift that's really bad make sure you just use um sprint by default and you could put a keybind on left shift so yeah this is all my this is all my settings really not too important i have type to search on some people put their search on mouse wheel up and then you have to make sure you put this on when you do that record replace off because this gives you if you have everything off this gives you more rps so that's good now for your game ui settings everything on except for uh quest progress and vertical aim indicator make sure you have uh latency debug stats on and uh net debug stats on that's definitely important because that shows you ping okay guys now let's get to the mouse and keyboard mouse sensitivity now for this this all depends on you now personally i like using 11.7 because let me show you guys a little uh, example so i usually bring my mouse if you just notice how you play just check where you bring your mouse to like further to your keyboard so let's say i have like this is probably close as i get to my keyboard if i go like that and i bring it to the edge of my mouse pad you want to make sure that you at least do one 360 and then for me i do a 360 and like another 180 so once again make sure you bring your mouse to the closest point to your keyboard and try to bring it to the edge of your mouse pad and make sure you do your character does at least one 360 and then from there you could um, bring it up or you could just keep it like that now for my target sensitivity i have it really low because i just find it way easier to track my opponent like aiming down sights i don't know how people have it all the way up here i like it to be like around 10. and then scope sensitivity i have that really high because that's just my sniper um and these are all off yeah that's my sensitivity now audio um sometimes i have it like 89 honestly it just depends like if i just want to listen to music or something i have it on 14. if i want to play i have it like 90 sometimes 85 because sometimes like my ears act up and stuff i don't know sound quality definitely put it on high 3d headphones it sounds really weird but make sure like you could definitely experiment with this background audio all sounds uh voice chat this is just my stuff my mic and my headset and stuff license audio uh whatever that really doesn't matter to your settings but yeah so guys, that's been the video. This video did help you out in any way, shape, or form. I'd ask you to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, thanks for watching.